How to use Quad Remesher in Blender. Once you install the add-on, it will come up here in your toolbar. Select it. Now here is the panel for Quad Remesher. Remesh it obviously starts the process. Quad count is how many polys you want it to be. So let's test it at the moment on 5,000. Remesh it. If we come up to here, go to statistics, there is 4,729 faces. Let's undo that. Change this to 1,000. Remesh it. There is 993 faces. The adaptive size is a way to manipulate quad remesher to be flexible with the size of the quads and give sections like this section here that have more curvature, smaller and more dense geometry. With the adaptive size set to zero, quad remesher will not give more quads to the curvature and instead focus on giving the remesh equally, equally sized quads. Let me show you what I mean. If I select this with the adaptive size set to zero and a quad count of 1,300, I hit remesh and we have evenly spaced quads. If I select this one, now put the adaptive size up to 100% and click remesh with a quad count of 1,300. As you can see on the bottom of the section here, it has added more geometry and has more dense geometry, which helps to find the curves. Adaptive quad count is a way to prioritize the number of polys you have selected as a remesh target in a target quad count. With adaptive quad on, remesh will not prioritize the target quad count and will be more interested in the quality of the remesh by adding as many quads to make it match the input shape. So again, let me show you what I mean. So as you can see, we have some really horrible geometry here. If we have this deselected with a quad count of 2000, Let's remesh it. So with this off, it should prioritize remeshing with this amount of quads. So now if we go into our faces, we have 2050. So quad remesher never really gets it perfect, but it gets it as close as can be. So 2050. So if we come out of this, undo. Now, if we, if we select adaptive quad count and remesh it, Now we have 2,374 faces. So basically it just adds as many more quads it thinks is necessary to, to fit the basic shape or the base shape, should I say. The next setting we'll look at is use vertex color. This is used for using vertex paint information to determine where you want more dense geometry. Red means you want your quads four times smaller and cyan means you want it four times bigger. The default value, by the way, is one. So this is a sculpt I've done. Um, I've now decimated the geometry. So as you can see, the ge geo is all over the place and we want to remesh this. So to use vertex color, we select this. Now we have to change our object mode to vertex paint. Now. With your vertex paint option selected, you see you have white here. This correlates to this. So you don't want to change your color to red or to cyan via here. You want to do it via the quad density paint section here. So if I move this up, as you can see at the top, it's changing to red. If I move it down, it changes to cyan. So let's stick the geo to 2.5. Sorry, the, the quad density to 2.5. We'll paint along here. Now, if I go down, 0 0.8, paint some cyan here. Let's make it a bit more so you can see it a bit better. In fact, let's go back up to red. Put it up to two, bring that down, paint the lips. OK, so. If we look at this, this red area is going to be more dense than the blue. This will be one, this will be whatever we set blue as, and this will be red. To get this to work, you want to select the adaptive size and push it up to 100. And then remesh 
with a quad count of 10,000. As you can see, if we show our geometry, you have more dense geo in the areas that you painted red and less dense geo in the areas that you painted cyan. Edge loops control. This section gives you more control over your edge loops. If you select detect hard edges by angle, it will automatically detect your hard edges that have an angle greater than 30 degrees. If we remesh this with a quad count of 10,000, as you can see, the edges are not really that defined. We undo. Now we select detect hard edges by angle and remesh. It has automatically detected the hard, sharp edges and remeshed accordingly. However, as you can see on this section, the results are not as good as we would like it. So if we use what we learned earlier and make use of the adaptive size slider, we can pump up the geo in this section to smooth out the curve. And as such, it will give us much nicer results. So if we undo this, make sure detect hard edges by angle is on. I will come to my adaptive size, pump it up, remesh, and as you can see, we have much nicer results in the curves. If I hide my geo, now what I can do is come to my modifiers, add a bevel, select the um, limit method to angle. It's at 30 degrees, which is perfect for us at the moment. Come down to clamp over overlap, turn it off. Now we can modify this. Now I will stack a subdivision surface on the top and that will give us control over our edge loops. We want really nice results. Use materials. Use materials is especially useful for getting that extra control over where the edge loop will be. So basically, you can use materials to determine where you want your edge loops to be. So let's use this as this an example. We, we select this. I will select my adaptive size, put it to 100, detect hard edges by angle. I will remesh with a quad count of 5,000. Now, as you can see, this isn't what we want. So we want to be able to tell quad remesher that we want this to be a sharp edge. So how we can do that is if I push this over. Now on this example, we select use materials. We will change it here so we can see our materials or we can just go to this here. Now I come to my material panel here or go into edit mode, select these faces. So I will select these. Create a new material, assign, let's make it red. Create another new material. Let's make it yellow. Assign it to this section. Great. So this is going to tell Quad Remesher that it wants where these materials join, there's going to be an edge loop. This is especially useful here. So if I select this, change this to yellow, create a new material here. Just make it any color blue. Assign. Assign the blue here. Create another color. I don't know, green. The color doesn't really matter. Assign. Now we have selected use materials. Go to object mode. Remesh. As you can see, it has kept the sharp edges. So, really useful for telling Quad Remesher where you want individual edge loops to be. Last but not least, symmetry. This is pretty standard. Um, it's just going to basically try and create symmetry on the remesh. So if we look at this, this is on the Y. So let's undo that. 
we have our materials so let's check yep our materials so we'll use symmetry on the y remesh and perfect and that's it thanks a lot guys bye